Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to video four. What is game user settings? The reset to current settings node. Let me explain the point of this node, show you how it doesn't work quite properly, and then explain what it does. So the reset to current settings node is pretty simple. It's going to come off of our game user settings. And the intent of this node is to reset back to some basically safe settings that you have already determined. Rather than our system defaults, this will be things that you've determined as valid. Plus it's going to reset to settings that it is currently using. So what do I mean by that? Well, for my example, what I'm doing here is I'm getting the current resolution for my object. Then I'm going to print it to screen. Then I will set the screen resolution to something really funky, a 5000 by 800 resolution, which is going to be totally invalid, so I really don't want to keep it. But then I'm going to get it, so that way you can see that it has changed it inside of our object. Then I run my reset node, which pulls some values out of our INI file and our game user object. And then I'm going to go ahead and print out the current resolution. So when I hit play, we're actually going to see some weird numbers here. Let me, let me change these all to 5. That way we can actually see it easier. There we go. So that should at least see it on screen. What we're going to see is 1920 is my current resolution, 5000 is the one I changed it to, and 1024 was the new setting after I reverted. Now if I actually go ahead and close this and hit play, you'll find it's running at the new 1024 resolution. Well, what did it actually do? So if we go into our documentation for Unreal Engine, when we look at the reset to current settings node, we're gonna find what it does. And it's pretty simple. Basically, it makes sure we have a valid window. Do we have actually something valid to work with? If it does, it sets the current full screen mode to what the current viewport mode is. So for example, if you're in windowed, it's gonna go ahead and set to windowed, et cetera. Then it's gonna set the resolution to what the current system resolution is. So it's going to give it back to a default safe resolution. Then it's going to do some things such as your FPS and your VSync, and it's going to reset those. Then here's the important part. It is going to go into your last confirmed full screen settings. And in my case, in my example, my last full screen saved were 1024 by 768. So these are values you have written out to your file as these are safe and good settings. And it's going to go ahead and take those and set your current values to those. Then it's going to go ahead and reset your scalability back to the default. So all of your things such as your foliage and your shadows are going to be the quality levels you have determined. In this case, down here, I'm going to have 2, 3, 2, 3, etc. with 100% resolution quality. And then actually that's the last thing it does is it makes sure that the resolution quality is set to default. So... Long story short, basically it's going to go ahead and reset back to things you have determined as safe inside of your object. Now, keep in mind, because we are working with the game user object, these settings in here may not match the settings in your file. So you need to keep that in mind. Remember, when we modify the game user settings object, until we save it out to disk with a save or apply node, it's just going to be inside of our game user settings object itself. So I could go in previously, change the resolution to something that's not safe and tell it it is my last safe confirm resolution. I could be not checking. I could make a mistake, for example. And then if I was told to re reset, it's going to pull the values out of memory it's not gonna pull the values out of the actual file itself. So one thing you might wanna do when resetting the current settings is maybe get your game settings, pull a load settings node off of it and force a reload from disk. That way you have saved settings you're using and then go ahead and reset to current. That way the values you're getting out are the ones on your disk, which should hopefully be valid saved values. So that's pretty much it. That's what a reset to current settings node does. It's going to go in, it's going to pull valid settings that we have told it are valid, and it's going to go ahead and change it inside of your game user object. So you might want to make sure after you do your reset, 
you apply your settings to make sure it actually applies those new good saved values and saves them out to disk again.